do the Tigers have a leader in the clubhouse? Uh, was clubhouse culture a problem of the past? And do we actually have guys that can hit a fastball now? Is there a clubhouse leader? Was it a problem before? It, well, I don't think it was a problem before. I, Miguel, when you, when you get inside the clubhouse, Miguel Cabrera is like, you know, he'll tell everybody good morning. He's the one that kind of, everybody kind of serves, uh, not serves to, but he's the one that dictates the behavior. He's the one that kind of gets everybody going. Uh, I would say Eric Haas has become a good clubhouse leader too. Eric Haas is really good with the media and he's very friendly with everybody. He kind of gets everybody going, but it's still Miguel Cabrera's clubhouse. The clubhouse atmosphere is, I, I, from from my understanding, from talking to the guys, from the beat writers, it seems like it's a lot more juvenile or ju- ju- jo- jovial. Jovial. A lot more upbeat, yeah. So the question I have there is I once was told that Whichever player decides the, what music's being played in the clubhouse is kind of the guy in charge. Do you have any idea who that might be? I, that's what I'm thinking. It, it has to be Cabrera because there's been, oh, yeah, because it was funny because Sunday, I was in there Sunday, it was a lot of, it was gospel music. I'm not sure who it was, it was gospel music. All of a sudden, Cabrera changes wow. up, it comes in and it becomes like the reggaeton. So, um, okay. Yeah, so it was. It was like it, it, the music immediately changed, and it could be a clubhouse person. I don't know. It could be even somebody from the Tigers PR. But it was just funny because the, the tone. You, you 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 smell eggs, bacon. You smell breakfast foods in the clubhouse. It's waffling. You're like, man, I realized I had a sandwich a little while ago. But I'm like, man, I'm still hungry. But of course, food's off limit to the press. And you walk <laughs> in, and there's gospel. You know, it's like this praise of Jesus, and it's all really cool and all that, and um. Yeah, and then like, and you know what? Jeb might be not too far off from the truth. <laughs> I mean, you know. By the way, I have cocaine bears as a background because I was inspired by that. Um, but uh, <laughs> you, yeah, I didn't even notice. 